Hey everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls. Well, the squad is officially rolling deep as fuck, guys. Um, I put that last video up only a few hours ago, and we already got mad people rocking the tags. I mean, take a look. I did a search for the uh, for the symbol for the tag, squad six tag, and there, like all these, all, all you guys, all you guys came through and represented. Like, it's only been a few hours and you're all already you know went through the trouble to put put the shit in your in your account name so man you know if you've watched my videos for for like a little while now you know that i am not the most hype person in the world you know i mean i'm a pretty calm dude but you know when i saw like all the all the participation you know i got hype as fuck i'm not gonna lie you know i was i was like i was like my people you know i was like super happy about it and um so awesome so so amazing guys and you know, honestly not to sound emo or anything i'm i'm humbled by you know all the love that you guys have been showing uh the channel my videos and um you know just everything in general um you know when i when i started the channel i never really had any plans for it you know i just kind of you know I, i'll just do this in my spare time for fun but you know it's gotten a lot bigger than i thought it would have and you know, I, if it doesn't grow anymore, you know, I, I, well, I don't know what this, how to say this. Um, I would be okay if it stayed, the channel stayed at this size or, you know, around this size because, you know, the benefit to having a smaller channel is that you can actually talk to the people that watch your videos and, you know, you can, uh, you can kind of get to know them. You know, I mean, I know like quite a few of you guys by now from the comments and uh, all that, um, you know, like, uh, like I got a shout out Krogan. And uh, a retro dude and Arnold Danger, you know, those guys have been with me since day one when I was like, when I had like, you know, five subscribers or something like that. And, um, you know, they've always, uh, they've always like, um, you know, you know, interacted with me through the comments and whatnot. And I think the squad tag is going to be like, is going to be awesome, guys. You know, I mean, like I said before, just, you know, if you're going to rock the tag, try to like, you know, in PV, in in co-op, try to try to not be a tool. All right, don't be that guy that's AFK, or um, you know, bringing a level one to a level one hundred co-op or something like that. You know, just you know, be cool because you're uh, representing the community now. If you rock the tag, and um, we don't want a bad rep. You know what I mean? Um, so that's all I'm going to say about that, guys. I want to thank you all so much for uh, for participating, and uh, you know, for showing me love. And you know, it, it shows that you guys enjoy what i what i put out there and um, yeah it's a uh, it's it's really re rewarding <laughs> to be honest and again once again i can't thank you enough um so anyway that aside um i'm going to do the squad tag uh the weekly squad captain tag at the end of the video so stick around for that i'm going to select a squad member to be the captain for a few days and i'm going to put his name in the corner of all my videos for i don't know for three or four videos or or you know a few like a, a short amount of time so stick around for that see if you want so anyway the main point of this video was to talk about the new six star kenpachi red kenpachi and guys red kenpachi he definitely is going to win the award for most improved most improved character i mean this guy his five star version let's take a look at it his five star version again it's like one of the older five-star characters uh, from back in the day back in the day he was all right the stats were good his attack was high I mean it was 392 but back then 392 was pretty good and uh, you know the, but what he really suffered from was a god-awful attack speed like it took him days to uh, you know finish his combo string and that made him crappy in PvP especially because you know, his special attacks took a long time to start. His just general attack speed was really slow. So he can get interrupted pretty easily uh, in PvP. And he just, like, he just was not a good character. I mean, he was good. He was okay for PvE. But that is about it. I mean, his soul trait, it was uh, Last Ditch Survival, which is a pretty shit soul trait, in my opinion. And um, his special attack... His special ultimate attack is just a power boost which you know that's not really it's not really as good as having um you know a special attack that does 
a huge amount of damage all at once. I mean, especially in PvP. So, he wasn't a good character. He was a low tier, bottom tier character that, you know, he's kind of been a butt for a lot of jokes uh, for a long time. But in his six star form, yo, he is back with a vengeance. And, you know, he's going to give, he gives every other six star a run for their money. Um, you know, even, I would say even the new ones, even Soifan, Gin, and Shinji. Because his attack, he, they boosted his attack up to 541. Which, guys, that is tied for second. Second highest in the game right now. Um, with, I think it's, uh, it's uh, Shinji? I'm not sure, but he's tied for second with the uh, highest attack in the game. And, uh, you know, the other stats have been given a, huge, a pretty decent boost as well. Um, well, actually, that's not true. The only other stat that's been given a huge boost is his spiritual pressure. But that's going to buff his strong attack damage, too. And, um, you know, he's just going to be an offensive juggernaut. But the main thing with Kenpachi, the new Red Kenpachi, if what I've heard is correct, is that they're implementing a new mechanic into PvP. And uh, some 6-star characters will have it. Um, I'm not sure if all of them have it. But from what I heard here... Red Kenpachi has a mechanic where um, when he performs a strong attack, he can avoid being interrupted. And I'm not exactly sure how it works, but if that's true, that's a total game changer for this character. Because that erases the weakness he, previous, he previously had um, of being interrupted uh, when trying, trying to uh, get off his strong attacks. So, guys. Yeah, uh, Red Kenpachi, he's not hes not a joke anymore. So, I mean, if you have him, he's going to be a really good choice to ascend to 6-star as your first character. Him and Grimjo are probably at the top of the list. Um, yeah. I haven't actually played these characters, uh, and someone pointed out in the comments that you know I've been looking too much at the statistics and not actually looking at the, the gameplay. But um, the... The point of these videos is just to get like a general idea and since I don't actually have these characters, I, I have their 5 star versions, um, I can't tell you what their 6 star uh, gameplay is like um, as of yet and it will take me a long time to ascend um, all, all the 6 star characters that I have that are available. Um, but like I said, um, if you look at them compared to the other 6 stars, the newest ones, and uh, you know guys, honestly there's a pretty big gap in overall power level between Soifan, Shinji, and Gin, and the older five stars that you can ascend to six star. There's a, there's definitely a tier difference in uh, power level, but um, on that power, on the level of the older six stars that you can ascend, uh, definitely Kenpachi and definitely Grimjo are going to be top tier characters um, from that group. And I would put Byakuya at like a slightly lower level. He's still good because he's a rage character and he has dodge. And that's always been Byakuya's uh, bread and butter. And his th six star version just, you know, increases that, um, increases that aspect of him. And Red Kenpachi has the soul trait of, uh, his, his killer trait, I mean, his killer uh, attribute is Captain. So he does increase damage against Captain class of opponents. And, um, you know, that's kind of unusual because you know, Kenpachi is a captain, but I suppose because in the story he got into a fight with Tosin and he got into a fight with um, um, uh, Kaname, I guess that's why they put him as a captain killer. So that'll be a, a really good soul trait to have um, in, this, in PvP and situationally. And one final thing to note about the new Red Kenpachi, 6 star Red Kenpachi, is that he has the 4th highest average, uh, average score out of every character in the game. He is right behind Bankai, Soifan, Shinji, and Gin in uh, average stats. And it goes those three characters, and then the next fourth character is Kenpachi. So, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny because he went from being a terrible, terrible character to being, like now, to being one of the best characters in the game. And if you have him, you know, finally you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get your uh, your payback, your just um, reward for suffering with this guy for a long time. Um, 
Red Campachi was actually the second five star I ever pulled in the game, and I used him forever. I, you know, I, yeah, I didn't get another five star after that for a really long time. So I had to play with Red Campachi for for quite a while, and yeah, it was not the best situation. And um, you know, I'm glad that he's getting the love that he is because you know, Campachi is an awesome character. And it's about time that he had um, a good, powerful version in the game. Um, so I think that's it guys. Uh, Red Kenpachi, yeah, he's a top tier six star character, uh, in my opinion. But we'll have to see, uh, obviously we'll have to see um, the actual gameplay when uh, when it starts showing up more. Alright, so that's all I have to say about Red Kenpachi. And um, let's go ahead and do the uh, do the, the squad captain for the week. This will be fun guys, I, I, I haven't checked it out yet, but I'm really, I'm really looking forward to doing it. All right, guys. So let's check out. Uh, let's check out who uh, who showed up here to try to get the badge. You know, I think I'm gonna start calling it the buckle. Um, when I was in high school, I did uh, I did high school rodeo, and um, you know, if you won, they gave you a buckle. And uh, I think I'm gonna start calling it that. So um, let's see here. Uh, Renor, he didn't put a rank. Soul Soul Madness, man. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? I. Uh, I can't believe uh, you actually are watching my channel. <laughs> God, it's kind of funny. But uh, no, I know Soul Madness is ranked like in the top ten or something like that. And uh, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you the buckle, dude. I'm gonna give it to uh, you know one of the, one of the viewers, one of the subscribers. And you're, you're kind of a pro, and you're a big YouTuber, so you're not rocking, rocking the tags anyway. So um, you're, you're disqualified, dude. X wasted, you're disqualified too, man. <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not giving it to another YouTuber. Um, so how about Separatine? Says he's rank one. Um, all right, let's look him up. Let's see. Let's see if he's uh, if he's legit. I'm assuming that's his in-game name too. Separatine. Um, all right, Sep. I, man, I, I wrote down that you got to put your uh, your uh, your in-game name in there too. So I mean. I can't find you, dude. So I'm, I can't give you the buckle. Um, Vince two twenty one twenty one. 21. That's pretty good. Let's keep looking. Hal Jordan. It's twelve hundred. Um, uh, Saivam. Saivam. I can't pronounce this. Uh, Saivamsi. Three thirty six. Um, you know, I, but I don't know your. Uh, I don't know your in-game name, dude. Saivam. I'm, I'm. I don't think that you have the same name. As, all right, um, I can't find you, Saivamsi. Saivamsi, sorry, I'm butchering your name over and over. Um, Shake fan, thirty-five twenty-eight. Uh, that's probably not gonna make it, dude. <laughs> but maybe uh, next, the next buckle I give out, I'll do the uh, the lowest rank, dude. Um, all right, let's see here. Who's that? Hot Spice, ninety-eight twenty-seven. You're probably not gonna make it, dude. Guys, uh, I should have made this more clear, but. Post your um, in-game name as well, because so I can look you up and double check. You know, I don't think anybody's lying about being 9,827, but you know, if you if you're uh, if you're one of the higher rank players, like like 336, um, I want to I, I want to verify it so nobody uh, just to make sure. Um, all right, so Tiago 1069. See, like Tiago did it. He put his in-game name Zazer and 1069. That's perfect, dude. So do it like that on the next video, guys. Um, Nathan, 6,527. Probably not gonna make it. Um, oh, what's this here? Is this lit, uh, lit nicer? Yeah, dude, you can uh, you can do whatever you want with the symbol. Just make sure the symbol is in there. Um, you know, I, I just figured, you know, I don't want to take up too many character spots in the name because you can only get a certain amount. I think it's like 10. So um, yeah, if you have room to put brackets, go for it, dude. It looks great. Uh, Anissa, 1357. Um, that's pretty good. I don't know if it beats um, some of the other guys, but that's a, that's a solid rank. Um, 34. Jethro, Raul is 16,000. <laughs> Olivia, 9,700. Don't worry, don't worry about the low ranks, guys. It doesn't, it's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. You, know? you don't you don't have to be a top tier PvP guy to be in the community. Just um, just represent well. And um, 
you know, when you do co-op and stuff. Um, Neo, Neo is 354. Let's look at Neo. Neo, you might be, uh, you might be one, you might be the winner. Neo Sky King, sup Leech Cowboy, uh, man, you, you should change that. Change that description. <laughs> you know, now that you're on the friends list and you have the tag, you should put the tag in your name, dude. Um, let's see, uh, where, where is it? Previous rank, 354. All right, dude, you might be the winner. You're in the top, you're in the top, uh, top couple of people for sure right now. Um, let's see, but we gotta keep looking. Uh, 6,617. So hard, uh, yeah, man. If you've only been playing the game for three days, you know you're not gonna have a good rank. But you know, to get the 6,000 is uh, is decent for playing three days. Um, thanks for rocking this, rocking the tag, by the way, man. Um, Ace Ace Solus 92. All right, we gotta look at Ace Solus. Not that I don't trust you guys, but when when you get to the higher ranks, man, I, I just gotta verify it. And it's confirmed, Ace is 92. Ace Solist, I don't think anyone's gonna beat that. Um, Divinity, 8,000. Thanks for rocking the, the sign, dude. Much love. Uh, Bob, 15,000. Um, I'll read the rest of your stuff later and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll um, get back to you. Um, someone giving Soul Madness love in my videos. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. Love to see it. Joey, Joey G13, nine, rank 915. That's pretty good too, man. Wow, some of you guys are actually pretty, uh, pretty high up there. I'm surprised. Uh, we got a pretty badass team, I think. We could have a like a legit guild. Um, Light Soul too. Light Soul is even higher, 191. Um, it's still, it's he's still not beating out, um, beating out uh, uh, who was 92. A Solus. Um, and that's it. That's it for the uh, for the participants. So it looks like Ace Solis is gonna win it. Um, you're gonna get the badge, dude. Uh, X Wasted and uh, Soul Madness. You guys are disqualified because you're big YouTubers, and uh, <laughs> you're not getting the buckle. Uh, so Ace, buckle goes to you, my man. Um, yo, rock the guild tag, the squad six tag, man. Um, I might make that a requirement in the next video, but for now, uh, buckle's yours, my boy. Uh, congratulations. I really enjoyed doing that, guys. Um, it was fun as fuck. And, um, you know, I'll, I'm going to do it every once in a while. Uh, every couple of days, I'll change the, uh, I'll, I'll give out a different buckle. And, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Much love. You know, I, I'm really happy with you know, the community we have. And uh, we got some high, high level PVPers in here, too. So, you know, we got, we got the best of everything. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm not going to ramble on much more. Thanks for watching. Much love out to everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.